Well, Steve, it's really nice to see you again. I trust you're keeping well as spring comes our way. Doing my best. <laughs> That's good. Hey, you know, I know a lot of businesses have been looking at what do they do with their workforce as we come out of the current health pandemic? Uh, Location-wise, what are they going to do? What are you hearing and what are you talking to clients about? Yeah, no, Rodney, it's a, it's a, it's a great question. Um, very timely question. Um, it, it, it's, it's no surprise, right, that companies today are actively evaluating what their post-pandemic work-from-home policy is going to be. Um, surely there will be some companies that will be 100% back in office, right? I don't know how many, but there will be some. There will be some companies that'll be 100% remote, right? Same concept. There will be some, don't know how many, but the expectation is, is that the vast majority of companies are going to be in some type of hybrid model, right? And so those decisions, not unsurprisingly, are not being made by the tax department, right? They're being made, made by the C-suite, right? By the business. However, putting our tax hat on for a second, the geographical locations of employees may support your tax positions or a company's tax positions. So you have this dynamic here, right? Where from a tax perspective, you may need, think Dempy, right? You may need a certain level of activity um, to support your tax position over here, but yet you have this hybrid work from home model where companies are giving employees more flexibility to work where they want. And how do you bridge those two together, right? And so, and then what's the materiality of the impact of that, right? And so, so that is, a, is an issue right now that many heads of tax are thinking about and, and, uh, and are concerned about. And so what we've done, Rodney, is we've developed a tool, right? To help estimate the tax impact of employees that are working in a location that, let's just say, was not their intended location, right? And, and what it is, it's a rapid assessment approach. It's intended to give just a directional view, right, of the impact of employees working in a different location in terms of tax risk, right? And so um, what, we're, what, what the idea here is to arm heads of tax with the information that they may need to have or should have in engaging in dialogues with whether it's the HR department or the C-suite for purposes of making sure that when they're deciding or considering optionality around work from home post pandemic policies, at least they're making an informed decision, understanding what the tax impacts could possibly be. And also more importantly, to give that the, the heads of tax kind of the information they need to think about how do they respond to it, right? Do they think about maybe changing their transfer pricing model? Do they think about changing their to a different operating model, right? Because you have this, like I said, balancing dynamic of you need individuals, employees at locations you may from a tax planning perspective versus the flexibility around work from home and, and how might that impact the individual? How might that impact the company? And what's the risk involved and how do you mitigate it? And that's the purpose of the tool is to just through a rapid assessment, provide tax authority, the tax authority, sorry, heads of tax um, with the information that they may need to evaluate that. So Rodney, I'm going to show you just one dashboard from that tool. I'm not going to go through all the detail, but just for purposes, right, of, of just illustrating what the tool can do, I'm just going to walk you through a couple of points. Can you see my screen? So, so here's the dashboard, one dashboard in the tool, not going to go through everything. I just want to focus on three or four points. You can see scenario up here. It allows you to contemplate different scenarios where individuals you may not know yet, you're developing a policy where you want flexibility, who you want to allow to, to work from different locations. It allows you to scenario plan and assess the impact depending upon a variety of what if scenarios. Here, what it does is it allocates global profits, right, amongst your functions. Why is that important? Well, if it turns out that a majority of your profit is aligned with, for example, your R&D, people, your R&D function, um, and where those R&D people work actually drives that, well, maybe you have a different policy for your R&D group versus the rest of the functions in your, in your group, in, in your company, right? Again, it just informs you about where you might have more or less flexibility 
through a tax lens in terms of willingness to be more flexible about work from home. What this shows you is, in given the scenario, it'll show you the delta in your tax liabilities, both corporate and you'll see social taxes. So you can see allowing a more, um, a, a more um, fluid or, or flexible work from home policy may increase certain tax liabilities. And that's okay as long as you're making an informed decision that that's the way you want to go. And then you can see down here is another example, given that people may be relocating to different countries. Well, some countries may see an upward tick of profitability. Some may see a downward tick, right? Depending upon what countries and what people go to what country. So again, it informs you on a country basis. It informs you on a profit basis. Um, I could toggle this, this, this map to tax instead of profit. This is profit right now. And it gives you the overall delta and allows you to scenario plan. Again, it's a real high level. Um, the tool does a lot more. There's a lot more dashboards, but this is the kind of things of how we're working, right? How we're working with tax departments and the heads of tax to arm them with the information they need to interact with the rest of the, with the, rest of the company that are thinking about work from home policies post pandemic, as well as helping them decide what next steps or responses they may want to take from a tax department to figure out you know, how to move forward. Well, just fascinating, Steve. I mean, it's certainly right, right? I mean, this is business driven. So, so it's starting with that, but so many businesses have been focused on the people side of it, not necessarily bringing together both people side and what does this mean for the company in terms yeah. of perhaps new or additional reporting obligations or new and additional tax payment obligations. And this really gives people an opportunity just to see the glass just directionally. You know, what is the input factor that's coming from the group tax department? Exactly. Really interesting, Steve. Well, look, I can only imagine this is keeping you very busy because I see you know, so many of our clients thinking about how will they address location of employees going forward and you see it all the time in the news as well right so it's going to be keeping you super busy it it, it is and and if if anything it it is it is uh, a, a moving target because as we said right this is an evolving thing companies are working through it there's a lot of competing interests at the end of the day it's just making sure that tax is at the table with the relevant information so that companies are making a fully informed decision which is fascinating steve this is really, really interesting. And the visualization really helps bring home what does it mean? So look, hey, thank you very much for your time today. Stay safe till you get vaccinated, huh? Thank you, Rodney, same to you.